All right, another day of shitty trading this week. Yesterday was a slow day. I didn't do a trading recap yesterday, but yesterday I finished the day up $12. I literally sat here in this chair from 7 a.m. to about 4 p.m. And I caught, I was able to catch BBIG a little bit and made like $12 on it. Um, and that put me up for $12. Uh, I finished close at $12 in profit yesterday, but today I traded a total of three stocks today, CLEU, BBIG, AEI, all of which I am red, down $18.65. All in all, I mean, it's a very recoverable loss. I mean, yesterday kind of canceled out today. I was a little, I'm a little bit more in the red so far, red week this week. However, it's just been very slow. Like I, I've been getting, wanting to get aggressive, um, but like the market is just not there right now. And yeah, so let's go and review my trades. AEI was the first stock that I traded. Uh, let's see, TOS is laggy as shit right now. AEI, okay. Maybe if I take this out, maybe this will be better. Yeah, it's kind of laggy, but we'll, I'll just deal with it here. So it popped up at seven. AEI, still very tired at seven o'clock, just sat down. And so we have a, we have a pre-market high or after hours high of about 283. It popped up to 283 on this candle or 285. I was looking for the break of this 285 level. It pulled back. I was buying this dip right under. Well, actually, I bought. I was buying at 285, 283, 284, 282, all up in this level, waiting for that breakout. I thought we were going to get that surge because we had this spike of volume at 7. I thought we were just going to continue this upward trend. And then it shook me out. Failed to break out, pulled back, pulled back to a new low and shook me out. And then it eventually creeped back up to that high and went without me. Didn't trade it. Um, I mean, this here put me down. It's like six dollars already. Here was just a backside scalp. Another backside scalp, but this was a scratch trade. I should have been adding all the way down here, but I, was, I don't know what I was doing. And then you know, sold on the retest of VWAP because this was a clear support on this level, previous previous high of that 285 level um, of these candles, and then also it bounced off of this level here. So this was a clear sign of support. It should have been buying and buying and buying and then selling on the retest of this VWAP. Uh, ended up flushing more, and then at that point I just stopped trading it. So that was that. The next one I traded was BBIG, BBIG, uh, oh no, maybe CLEU, sorry, CLEU was just a mess. I saw this pre-market, I saw there was some news on it, no, no news on it, but it popped up and then I, we were seeing this squeeze back to the high and that was adding, trying, looking for this breakout, anticipating the breakout. We had some two really good green volume, high volume candles here. Um, and I was adding, trying into the breakout. I was in 20 shares. Added 440, added again at 445. And then looking for that breakout. And then this fuck in a minute, in a second, the bid just dropped. The ask held, but the bid just came down all the way down to $4. And everybody just started running for the exits, and I ended up cashing out for a loss here, right off this VWAP level. Um, you know, and that was another, my other loss. <clears throat> and then BBIG, right out of the gates, had a couple bad trades. <clears throat> here it was, would have been a good trade if I held a little bit longer. You can clearly see, I mean, the volume had picked up since before 8. Um, it ripped up, dipped, and then, a, then it made a new high. 
dipped again. So this previous resistance here uh, is holding. And so this is now support off this level here. And I was adding down here. I was really looking for, I guess I was just looking for a scalp. I just wanted a quick profit. But this could have worked out if I held it all the way back up to 1140. But it is what it is. Um, so that was just a quick scalp. Not much there. Didn't really trade until the open. Then right on the open, it ripped up, made a new high, made the next candle opened up and made an even a higher high. And I was like full on FOMO. I was like, shit, I should have been buying through this breakout here. I would have been up nicely on the day. Um, and so then this candle flushed down to this previous 1150 level. I was adding 1166 and 1170 in 20 shares. And I was looking for a move back up to like retest this level. Um, maybe get some continuation, but then it flushed. It flushed hard. And I would, first instinct was to add again because it bounced first for a quick second off this VWAP level. I thought this candle was just going to get bought right back up to 11.50 and then this next candle I would open up would rip higher up to the 12s. Um, so I bought more at 11.33 and then I completely just got shaken out at 11.15. I was like, if it breaks VWAP, I'm done. I, 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 I'll be a down too much. And good thing I cut it really early and it was only a $5 loss. Here, quick scalp trade on the dip um, for the break of 11. Uh, another quick scalp trade off the low. Uh, this could have offered way more opportunity. I bought and like, I was just already red on the day and I was kind of stressed. And like I knew if I lost any more money, I would be in the in the state of regret. And I just shouldn't have been trading at all, actually. I should have just walked away. But yeah, this if I held this, if I was in a healthy mindset of not, you know, FOMO trading or regret revenge trading, um, I could have held this for a nice decent win. This had let's see. Let's see what that percentage move was here. It's a good 6% move. You could have, I mean, I could have realistically captured 3 or 4% on that. At least if I held it to to the VWAP, it's about 3 to 4%. Um, so if I averaged in on here on this candle, that could have been a great move. Um, but there was always that risk of just like that bottom falling out again and, and just flushing. And that's what I was scared of today because I already got stuck in this one and then on CLEU. And so that just like kind of put me in a bad mindset of just, you know, whenever I profit, it's like I have to immediately take it because you never know the floor is just going to fall out from underneath me. Um, and then that after that trade, that was it. I, I was done for the day. Uh, so all in all, down 18. Not a, well, I'll be able to get back from that. Uh, not a small, it's just a small red day. Um, here's my trader view stats. So we, I was kind of out of this little peak, up above this peak here, and then just dip back below this high. So um, really, I mean, my technical analysis here, if I dip below this low here, then that's a problem. But I think we'll be good here. I think if I just keep my losses small and just weather the storm, uh, eventually the hot market's going to come back around and I'll be able to make that profit back all the way above this high. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking to break that into a thousand. That is my next PL goal. So not too far off a thousand. $130. $130. I could do it this month, but you know, no pressure. If the market's not there, there's no reason to push. But I'm really close back to recovering from this drawdown. Um, and then this whole area would be, it should be in my my rear end view, my rear end mirror. My rear view mirror. So hopefully it's soon. Market will heat back up again and take some more opportunity. Uh, the other stock I was looking at, I wanted to trade, but like I was just so out of it, it was any. 
This was a great look at this ascending wedge. Beautiful ascending wedge. And, um, but I mean, there's just no resolution. Like the volume and the momentum is not there. This is a beautiful ascending wedge here, trapping the shorts on this candle, getting bought right back up. Perfect candle just to average in and adding and adding through the high for that break of through $7. That could have been a great trade, a beautiful trade. Um, but if you were somebody who's more of a position trader, this would have been a disaster trade. You would have popped up, you would have been in the green, all excited for this momentum, and it would have just flushed on you, and you would have been red. And so, just the market isn't there yet. So, you just got to hold out, and it'll come around. So, that's it. Small red day tomorrow coming back. Um, definitely going to play conservative for the rest of the week unless the market heats up. No reason to go for the home runs unless the opportunity is there. So, see you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, see you tomorrow on the next trading recap. Peace.